Hey guys, what's going on? It's GP here and welcome back to our current Minecraft survival series that we have been rolling with. And I like to say, I think this is one of the most successful ones we've had, actually. I'd say it's been going along really well. We've gotten a lot of stuff done and I think I might be setting out to complete this um, series. My first ever like completion of Minecraft survival. So I hope that goes really well. As you guys remember the last episode, and I would like to apologize for the length of it, we basically got all these goods from... I'm pretty sure that was a cave noise. They always happen when I least expect it. Sometimes I don't even pay attention to them because I'm talking so much. But, um, we went to that village, activated the raid. That went poorly. But we still got our goods, and we've got all of our treasure brought back to here. And today is the exciting stuff because I can finally make a conduit. I just need to make the right stuff for it now. It's got pumpkin seeds because these emeralds, that wandering trader you saw out there, is able to trade with him for some pumpkins, which is actually pretty nice. So I can grow those. All I need now are melons, I think, for my farm. But other than that, if you guys want to see more Minecraft content on the channel, be sure to absolutely demolish that like button. Absolutely crush it! If you're new or old to the channel, you guys know what to do by now. Go ahead and feel free to do whatever you please based on the content you see before you. I did make those shears for a reason because we do have a friend. Welcome back in. I've got some beetroot soup now. I've got this awesome fishing rod. I was fishing for some more puffer fish and stuff for recipes. I got this Luck of the C2 and Lore 2 fishing rod that has been really awesome. But alas, I do believe Fred has finally returned. It has been forever since we have seen Fred, hasn't it, folks? Um, some of you might not even remember who he is, or what he is. Basically, he's my little pumpkin companion. I might take him to the end with me because he... We kind of have a bit of a mutual relationship in that sense. He keeps me safe from Endermen. Which means I should be able to bring him to the warped forest, too. So that should help out. But he's always, like, got a bit of a mush brain, like... He's not... I wouldn't say not mentally stable, I don't know how to put it, but still, he's a great guy, you guys will like him. Now, I have pumpkin seeds, I might as well put those up for now, I don't need them just yet. I need to plan out some more for my farm, but yeah, last episode was pretty long and I didn't expect it to drag out as long as it did. So, I hope you guys are okay with that, the raid was at least successful, I beat it. I still, actually, I look back at it. And when I got here, the, the village, I missed the saddle dropped by the Ravager, so there goes my chance of getting a saddle for um, a Strider, which is one of my next goals, getting a Strider. I've already got him, I just need a saddle to ride him through the lava in the nether to travel more. I do have myself a cow, though, because I'm pretty certain I'm going to need milk for a lot of things, especially with potentially where I'm headed next. But also, this is looking a lot better. I bought some more nether wart back from the nether. And I don't know how true it was, but my buddy Mast tried to help me out with how, uh, growing it. I had seen it myself, but I didn't know how credible it was. About putting lava around or next to your nether wart to make it grow. I mean, it looks like it's working. You guys can tell me in the comments if that actually works, because I was skeptical about it, because I saw a few people say that that wasn't really the case. But regardless of that, today we are making our conduit, which means we finally get to do more ocean exploring, and some more real fun stuff. I've already checked out all those structures down there. I got a bunch of coal, um, some more axes and stuff, wheat. It's been amazing. Let's take care of that. Actually, no. Let's let the spider be. Spider's not harming everybody now, right? Okay, so let's put up the sugar cane. Let's work. So, finally got down to the basics of this prismarine. Also, despite all the knowledge shells I found, I have had no luck with getting another trident, so I can up mine better. But I do know what these do now. These make prismarine. I should have known that, of course. Of course, all these other blocks as well. And for the crystals, they help make the sea lanterns, so that's pretty cool. But we're focusing on this. We got our heart of the sea, and I got the final knowledge shell, so I can make a conduit. Now, some of you know what it is. Some of you... Do not. So, I'm gonna go ahead and show you right now that in the state it's in, um, that's meat. No, I don't want meat. But in the state it's in, all it does is really emit light. Doesn't do too much, right? That's all about to change. I need some prismarine. 
and I don't have many shards, so I'm gonna have to get it from another method, and you know what that means. Going back to the undersea temple, the underwater monument, and mining some straight from its walls. Alright, I've been doing my best to make plenty of potions. Oh, we have an enderman down here. I'm gonna need a few more of these on my trip. Obviously some water breathing. I'm gonna need night vision too, that would be helpful. Take a strength potion. Invisibility wouldn't work because I've got my armor right now. Hmm. Can't really think of anything else. Maybe a healing potion I'll take with me too. And of course, like I said, I've got buckets with me. That's also gonna be very helpful. Never thought I'd be going back this soon, but hey, anything can happen, right? Also, I'm pretty good on food, so I don't need to worry about that. All I need is... where is... there's the cow. I'm gonna make an, a more suitable pen for the likes of you, not you, Albert. You can stay put in here. But for you, I'll make you a much more suitable pen, because you're gonna help me very nicely. That is a lot, actually. Um, I think that's enough. All I'm going for is prismarine bricks at the very least. Maybe some sponges. So I don't think I need to worry about too much on me this time. I'll leave the conduit here, though, just in case. I don't want to lose that. That is pretty important. Thank you very much. Now it's time to head out and head back to that to- oh, there you are. Of course, I've harvested all my crops, too. It's looking fantastic. And you can just leave my stuff alone, please, Enderman. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, might as well take matters into my own hands. Get! Get out of here. Oh, there you are. Hi, buddy. Stay down. Hey! Grass block. That's always very much treasured. That's always a nice thing to get from an Enderman, so I'll go ahead and put that there. Awesome! Now... The Ocean Monument, Temple, whatever you want to call it. You guys really had to take my boat, didn't you? I don't know what happened to the Wandering Trader. For once, like, I never do anything to him. Unlike some people. It's a good thing I have the second boat, though, that I used for when I was going back to the village and I left my boat behind. So away we go. And I think I still got the maps on me. I do. I think this one, yeah, that leads to the Waterfall one, though. Uh, I think it should still be able to take me to the Ocean Monument, though. So, we will have to see. I'll have to put on night vision soon once I get far out enough. But yeah, this is gonna be very, very interesting. All in, the na all in the sake of getting a conduit, so you guys can finally see what it does. And for those of you who have been around long enough to witness it, you guys know that I'm finally... We're finally in for a treat here. Oh wow, I'm just traveling along my way. I'm nowhere near... Um, the waterfall area at all or anything. I found another glacier. Ooh, there's actually snow on it. Um, I might just stop at this iceberg, not glacier, that's right. Um, briefly. Cause that's snow. It looks like there's something on here. There could be a structure that I could check out. I gotta be wary of polar bears. But still, this could be very interesting. Let's see what's different here. More of that blue ice. Of course, I can't grab that just yet. I need Silk Touch to be able to actually use that for decorative purposes. Hmm. The structures are actually pretty neat, though. If there is a structure on here, I gotta look. Like, you can't really tell. When there's snow there, you think that there might be a building, but... It might just not be. It might just be leading me on a false lead here. Yeah, you can't be too certain. It does look like there's nothing here. I'll get more time to explore it later. For now, let's get back to our main goal. Those guardians are waiting. Oh, and there it is, right up ahead. Not too far from this. How did I not notice this before? But there it is. I might not be the same one that I checked out before. But so we're looking for Ocean Monument. It looks like there's a shipwreck right there. I feel like I've already checked this one out. But might as well go ahead and double check it. Because you're never certain until you make certain. Of course, it might compromise my inventory if I haven't yet, but still. Also, this smite sword is really good. I upgraded, and I don't have to worry about these drowns anymore. 
Which, thankfully, there's two swipes and it's done. Oh, you. You wanna take a swing, buddy? Wanna take a shot? Come on. Two shots and you're done. It's still no trident, of course. Well, let's see what resides in this ship. There is a chest, obviously. I've already been here. Yes, I have. All right. Fortunately, the underwater temple monument is just through this kelp, so... I should not have to go too far to get to where I need to be. Also, hopefully I shouldn't be out of too far range of my boat, either. Because I'm always losing it when I go out. Oh, there it is, yep. Alright. So let's see, Elder Guardians, one of the boss creatures. Oh yeah, here we go. I brought the milk as a means so that I can mine up what I need here. And as for you guys, you guys can just die. You guys are no concern to me right here. I need to get through- oh. If I can get these prismarine shards as well, that could also help me make my own, I suppose. It's not picky on, like, certain prismarine builds or whatnot, you know? Ow. Like, as long as you have some form of prismarine to build with for the conduit, then that'll do just fine. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, these guys are proving a pain. Okay. That's why I never mess with guardians, truly. It's harder to deal with drowns, that's for certain. They're special for a reason, folks. There's the Elder Guardian right there. If only I could break in. I believe... This should help out, hopefully. Might have to be quick on the draw, though. Oh, all effects are gone. Shoot, I forgot that all potion effects were off. No, I didn't think this through. I'm pretty close to the top. I gotta take out that Elder Guardian. Dang it. Ah, oh, shoot. I'm gonna need another water-breathing potion. I did not think this through. Alright, I'm back. I brought another water-breathing potion and another night vision potion, actually. Um... So yeah, this is not gonna be easy street here. Let me go ahead and take this milk. I gotta be quick here. Break through, break through, break through. I can't- I have to go through. I was hoping I could just mine through, but that's impossible. I hate how the Elder Guardian puts mining fatigue on you, and there's multiple too. So I'm gonna have to actually thoroughly go through this, unfortunately. I was hoping that I could at least just take out the Elder Guardians and get on my way with... Grabbing some Prismarine. That's not gonna work. So I need to find the entrance first. Uh, it should be pretty identifiable, I'd say. So I have my sword at the ready. I really hope I'm ready for this. Yeah, it's gonna be out here. Over this direction. This place is practically a labyrinth, so... Hopefully this one water-breathing potion will be enough to last me. It's probably not gonna be, and I'm gonna die. Again, I never said I was perfectly prepared for all this, was I now? There's some of the dark prismarine, that's pretty nice. Got some dolphins down here, too. Maybe they'll help me. Guide me to your elders. Because I know there's usually two of them in this place. Unless the guardians will literally give me what I need with the prismarine shards. I don't know. I might as well grab up as many as I can, at least. That should help. Oh, here's the sponge room. I can't grab these just yet, and they're all, like, wet, not dry. But still. I believe the Elder Guardian should drop sponges anyway, so those will be really useful for sopping up certain water spots. Whew. Okay. Got some sea lanterns. And I have no idea where I'm going exactly. 
Where to next, huh? Oh, here's one Elder Guardian. Oh boy. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I need strength, I need all this. Um, did I bring a regen potion? I don't think I did. That's fine. I've got strength on me. That should hopefully be enough, right? Come on, big fella. Okay, yeah, that didn't work. New plan time. All right, our next take. Oh my god. This time I have regen. I got myself another strength and water breathing potion. I'm gonna run out of potions. Because I never come in prepared for what I'm supposed to be situated with. Okay, mining fatigue is on. I just have to find all my stuff now. Which in this labyrinth could very well be impossible. But it's worth a shot, I suppose. I should think it was this room. Yes, it was! There he is, Mr. Big Guy himself. Okay, okay. Let's grab up all this. I need all this armor. Um. Yes, there we go. Milk, no need for that right now. Play it safe. We shall. There's my health potion. I don't think Smite's gonna help me out here. I gotta... Okay, that should do. Oh, you're right here. Hello, big guy. Strength. Every time I hit him, I take damage myself. Let's put on this regen potion. Okay, let's see how this fares. Oh, I got him! Yes! Okay, now to take out that second one. This looks like it could be an important location. I killed my first Ender Gu Elder Guardian, though, so that is pretty awesome. Ender Guardian, jeez, no thank you. Ah, uh, I need to find the one that's near the top. Of course, it's always quite a trip to get there, isn't it? It's a case of locating him, and I don't have much time to do so either, unfortunately. Oh, I saw you. Which room was that? Over here. We've got him, boys. Let's go! Woo! Wow! All the buffs I had really worked there. Of course, I did lose some armor, but it's worth it. I've also got more prismarine. Two wet sponges, unfortunately they're not dry. And two prismarine crystals. So now all I have to do is wait for this mining fatigue to wear off. Yeah, only minute left. And then... I can mine this up. Maybe not. Turns out there's another... Why? How is there another Elder Guardian? I thought there were only like at least two. I'm trying to... Oh my god. Where? Where would he be? I'm completely clueless here. That was ominous. Oh boy. How many Elder Guardians are in these undersea monuments? Because I could have sworn there was two last I checked. I have no idea where I'm going anymore right now either. Well, here's a Guardian. I can take you out. Give me your Prismarine. Well, this really sucks, don't it? Oh, you guys can't do anything in here. Okay, you guys can. You did. You're just a bit slow on the draw, fortunately for me. Got eight prismarine. That's not an. Those these shards are not enough. I mean, like the full blocks and wherever this third or whatever, how many more elder guardians there are in here. Oh my god. It's gonna take forever. I found him. I found him. Just gotta hope I can take him out in time. Ooh, he's really killing my armor. Okay, healing potion, healing potion, heal. That didn't help me too much. Behind the wall. Come and get closer, buddy. I dare you. I'm gonna die. I don't have regen. I don't have strength. Oh! Thank you! 
That's the third Elder Guardian dead. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Um, I might just use milk. And just get out of here. I don't know just yet. I need to find tunnel. Okay, up here. This is good. And then, milk. Dig up. That's all I care about right now. Get me out. Yes! I don't see any more mining fatigue. I think I got them all. Whoo! Man! Okay. Let's rest right here for now. Don't have any more water breathing potions, but that's okay. Time to harvest up some prismarine at last. Oh boy, no you don't, guardians. Whew, this is, I've been here longer than I care to admit. These guardians have been a thorn in my side, but I think I finally got enough prismarine for I need to, oh, look who's out here. Came all the way out here across the ocean to meet me, huh? It's fine, I suppose. Got some extra prismarine as well, right there. Looking splendid. I have had to make a few trips back, because again, these guardians have been just jerks. But finally, I think I have hopefully enough to build what I'm hoping to build. I might just grab, like, a few more prismarine bricks before I head back. Just to be on the safe side, like maybe one more. This one is calling my name. Got it. Now let's see if I can't find my boat. I hope I can. I'm pretty certain it wasn't too far away from this temple. It was where the shipwreck was. Where did I find that shipwreck? Of course, because of the gardens, I also have a bunch of ink sacks. I mean, I'm not complaining. Probably make some dark prismarine out of that, maybe. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there's my boat. Alright. We're all cool. We're all good here. We've made it. Survived. Now, let's hope I have enough to do what I want to do with this conduit back at home. I need to find a good spot anyways. Oh boy, this is exciting! Ah yes, land. Home sweet home, right around the corner. Ah, oh, phenomenal. Right, need to find a good spot now. Maybe next to those ruins. I could probably interconnect them all somehow. You guys are again confused on what I'm uh, got planned. You will see soon enough. All will be revealed with the heart of the sea in the middle of that conduit. Let's park it right here. All right, good. Let's get out of the water for a moment before I head back deep in on the deep end. So now, conduit right here. Got a lot more of these, too. Very, very nice. I might be able to make myself a sea lantern. Let me see real quick. I can! Alright, I'll make that. That'll make for some lovely decoration purposes. And I've got plenty of prismarine shards left over. Nice. Let's put the buckets here. I don't need those. Uh, wet sponges. If there's a way to dry them out, uh, do let me know in the comments, please. Because those could probably be really useful if I were able to dry them out now. Okay. Right. Conduit in hand. It's time to begin. I just need to find the right spot. So let's take a dive under and see here. Hmm. Oh, this is like a good spot right here, actually. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't have to be in, like... A base spot. Let's take out this drown real quick so it won't cause us any trouble. And, uh... I think I lost my shovel. That's fine. I've got one... Okay, actually, no. I'll just dig this away with what I have. Gotta be quick, though. Dig away this sandy L. Ooh. There's a reason why I'm not using water breathing right now yet anyways. Oh, that spot, that's perfect. Oh boy. This is about to be fun. I can't believe this is about to happen. This is the first time I've ever been able to accomplish something like this. 
Okay. So let's take my prismarine here. Now let's start. Come on. There we go. Let's start building this thing. Might as well show the specifics behind it and everything, you know? Always helps. So... Like that. Get closer to the... Dang. Okay. The underwater construction is always the hardest. I can go ahead and say that without a doubt. Definitely want to start with this. I hope I remember correctly, actually. Um, boom. Let's tip the prismarine we got there. I'm gonna put the sea lantern on top of it all. Oh, maybe I don't have enough prismarine bricks. I'm gonna have to see. Oh, wait, I do think I have enough. Okay, so let's see here. Put that. The sea lantern's gonna go in the middle here. You can just use any piece of prismarine or undersea stuff that you've got. It doesn't really matter. I should probably just go ahead and say that now. Okay. Oh, please let me have enough. I don't think I have enough. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, this is fine. I can make do with this. It doesn't look like I was hoping. I didn't mean to place that prismarine down. It's fine. It's fine. Everything is going according to plan, even if it's not what I was the exact plan I had in mind. Need this last piece of prismarine real quick though. So I'm going to put that in the center. I believe. Briefly. Where's that sea lantern I had? Right here. Let's put you at the top, the pride. And now my conduit. Break that block. Yes! Oh, it's working! It's beautiful! I now have conduit power! Which means I now no longer have to worry about water breathing potions under the water. Oh, I can stay down here for as long as I want, as long as I've got this conduit. Oh, I might get uh, more prismarine bricks, though, to make that fit in better. But now I can do whatever I want down here. I don't have to worry about a limit anymore. Of course, there is a boundary where it goes, obviously, many of you know. I'm gonna have to find that and mark it somehow. But awesome! I can start working on underwater construction off camera. So thank you all for doing today's episode of Minecraft. This has been a bit of a hectic one, but finally, we've got our conduit. We have our conduit power. Now it's time to keep having fun in the ocean for certain. Uh, check out my second channel for more uh, non-game related content that I post that you may be curious about, perhaps. Might fascinate you. Um, share this video with your friends, spread the word they're here to entertain for every age, any community you may be a part of, people you know, spread the word. Get me out there on the YouTube algorithm, whatever. And I will see you guys in the next video. Stay gold, my friends, and bye bye